evaluate the line integral in differential form where c is a line segment from 1 comma 1 comma 4 to negative 1 comma 0 comma 7. To begin, we need to parameterize the line segment using the parametric equations of a line shown below, where if a line in three dimensions passes through the point x sub 0 comma y sub 0 comma z sub 0 and has a direction vector a comma b comma c, we can write the parametric equations of the line in this form here. And because we have a line segment, we just need to restrict the value of t. So let's first find the direction vector, we'll call that vector v. The x component is negative one minus one. The y component is zero minus one. And the z component is seven minus four. Simplifying, we have the vector negative two comma negative one comma three. Let's go ahead and use the first point as the point. So we'll call that point A, which is one comma one comma four. And now we can write the parametric equations for the line segment where t will be on the closed interval from zero to one. We have x or x of t equals one minus two t, y of t equals one minus one t or one minus t, and z of t equals four plus three t. And now we parameterize the line segment where t is on the closed interval from zero to one. Notice when we sub in one for t, we do get the other endpoint of negative one comma zero comma seven. We also need the derivatives, let's find those now. X prime of t equals the derivative of one minus two t or negative two. Y prime of t equals the derivative of one minus t, which is negative one. And z prime of t equals the derivative of four plus three t, which is three. So now if we want, we can write the given line integral in differential form as the line integral along the curve C of x dx plus the line integral along the curve C of y dy and then plus the line integral along the curve C of z dz. We want to evaluate these line integrals with respect to t. So now we perform substitutions for x dx, y dy, and z dz. If we take a look at our notes below here on the right, we need to write each integrand function as a function of t and then dx equals x prime of t dt, dy equals y prime of t dt, and dz equals z prime of t dt. The first line integral equals the integral with respect to t from zero to one of x, which is equal to one minus two t, and then dx is equal to x prime of t dt, and x prime of t is equal to negative two, giving us negative two times dt, and then plus for the second line integral, we have the integral with respect to t from zero to one of y, which is equal to one minus t, and then times y prime of t dt, y prime of t is negative one, and then times dt, plus the third line integral is equal to the integral from zero to one with respect to t of z, which is four plus three t, and then dz equals z prime of t times dt, z prime of t is equal to three, so we have three times dt. Let's go ahead and combine these into one integral because the interval for t is the same. We have the interval from zero to one of, multiplying by negative two, we have four t minus two. Distributing negative one, we have t minus one. Plus distributing three, we have nine t plus 12. dt. And now let's combine like terms. We have the integral from zero to one of four t plus t plus nine t, which is 14 t, and then plus negative two minus one plus 12 simplifies to plus nine. And now let's continue on the next slide. Integrating with respect to t, we have 14 times t squared divided by two, or seven t squared plus nine t. Now we determine big F of one minus big F of zero, which is seven times the square of one plus nine times one, and then notice when t is zero, both terms are zero. Simplifying, we have seven plus nine, which is 16. I hope you found this helpful.